Hello and welcome back to another episode of Measurement in a Minute. I'm your host, Justin Kozak with Lakeside Process Controls. And in today's video, we're continuing our discussion around Rose Mount's DP level transmitters. In particular, we're gonna discuss how we equate a pressure reading into a level measurement. It can be very confusing for some, but I promise you after just a little bit of quick math, you'll have a much better understanding. So let's use this example here where I drop a can into some body of water. Uh, and you know, unlike my illustration here, let's assume the can is actually at the bottom of the vessel. It's fully sunk down. It's not in motion anymore. Now we know that there is a certain volume of fluid above this can. And in this case, let's just assume it's water. Now, if we just so happen to install a Rosemount DP level transmitter right at the top of that can, it can then tell us what the pressure that the can is you know, uh, being exerted on itself. Uh, and this is really important to understand. Um, this is going to be equal to simply the density of whatever fluid is above it times the volume of the fluid that is above it times the gravitational constant. And then it is on a per area basis uh, because that's how pressure readings are uh, calculated. And what you'll notice here is, well, wait a second, the volume of the fluid above this can is just equal to the cross-sectional area times the height. And what you'll notice is we can cancel out those area terms and we're simply left with a very simple equation, the density of the water times the height of the water above the can times the gravitational constant. And what's important to note from this is, is a couple things. First of all, it is only dependent on the height. So it doesn't matter how much volume of liquid is above this can, that has no impact on the pressure exerted. So give you an analogy, let's say you're swimming in the ocean and you're swimming five feet beneath the surface or you're swimming in a backyard pool also five feet beneath the surface, regardless of the volume of water that's in the ocean, which is endless compared to that pool, you'll still have the same amount of pressure exerted on by you. The other thing as we bring it back into process controls is no matter where we install this DP level transmitter in the same horizontal plane in that vessel, it'll experience the same pressure reading. So very important takeaways. Now, why do I have density and gravitational uh, constant in green? It's because both of these are fixed. Now fixed, but not necessarily constant. Gravitational constant is relatively constant as the name would imply. Um, the density is not. The density, we have to fix it in order to configure a DP level transmitter, but the reality is density does change over time with pressures and temperature changes. And as we talked about in the limitations video, this is one of the big limitations or drawbacks of a DP level transmitter is we have to assume this is constant. But nevertheless, let's assume that is a good assumption and let's continue on with our equation here. So pressure is simply equal to the density times the height of the liquid above it times the gravitational constant. Well, if we bring those fixed terms beneath that pressure transmitter reading, uh, we then are left with height on the right side, or really the level measurement. Now pressure is what is called a measured variable and then we divide it by some constant and we are left with what is called a scaled variable. It's important to understand this because if we are measuring something other than water, we have to scale for the changes in density. Most times your DP level transmitter is going to read in inches of water at four degrees Celsius, or maybe millimeters or inches of mercury, most times inches of water, but we don't have inches of water. We might have inches of oil or inches of glycerol. And so we need to equate for the differences in specific gravity. And that's what we are doing here by dividing it by what is actually known as the specific weight in this case to then get that scaled variable. So important to understand because your transmitter right read one thing, but then output another, and it's because it is outputting and accounting for that change in specific gravity. Should you have any questions about Rosemount's DP level transmitters or any other of our products, please reach out to us at www.lakesidecontrols.com. Thanks and have a great day.